awkward introduction and hello my name is Wigsby and in this video I will be playing Slender the Arrival so this is a follow-up to uh, a game called Slender the Eight Pages which was a free game released kinda of based on the Slender Man myth uh, where you were lost in a forest and trying to find these eight papers and all the while being chased by a, the Slender Man which is basically, I don't know a lot about the Slenderman mythos, but uh, he's basically like a well-dressed boogeyman. And <laughs> I guess kind of like the most passive-aggressive like horror creature ever, because all he does is appear and stand there, and then casually walks towards you or something. I don't know a lot about it. But, uh, and I never did play the first Slender game. Um, I just watched a bunch of people playing the game online and their reactions which was quite funny and slender the eight pages or as I like to refer to it uh, jump scare the video game uh, it just basically proved that if you suddenly flash an image of the slender man on screen uh, all of a sudden the player will just start behaving much like a cat looking down the nozzle of a spray bottle it was quite funny. So seriously, if you're looking for a good laugh, go look at Slender Game reaction videos. They're quite funny. So this is basically a follow-up to that game. Uh, the original developer was involved in the production, and they've kind of expanded it, I guess, given the storyline. And though I've played through a couple, or at least the first, like, level of this game, and I have no idea what's going on story-wise, uh, but... This game does a phenomenal job of creating kind of this sense of dread and unease. It kind of plays on the whole point of Slender Man, I guess, is it plays on fear of the unknown. And I think what this game does best is its audio design. I mean, seriously, it does a fantastic job, and I think that's what makes it so immersive and so terrifying is just the ambiance sounds, the sound of my footsteps, and and just overall the soundtrack in general just great job great job though one thing I don't like and this is kinda why I avoided playing the first game because after watching the videos is I don't like walking so dang slow I mean I, I just kinda get impatient and I know that I can sprint like this um, but I think you can only sprint for so long because you will eventually become fatigued and you need to save those aren't my footsteps I heard footsteps that weren't mine I hate that um, anyway so you can't you, you eventually become fatigued when you sprint and so and there's like uh, from what I can tell there's nothing on the eight, uh, on the heads up display that tells you how much sprint juice you have so I prefer to save my sprint juice for when I'm in freak mode uh, running from the slender man so, oh, it's gotten much darker now. So anyway, uh, I guess that was basically uh, it was kind of a, kind of an interesting way to play the opening credits, sort of a nature trail to hell feel, I guess. Um, all right, it's a dark and scary house. Uh, let's go inside. Okay, so. And this game has you, you have to like drag doors open and close with uh, the mouse. Took some getting used to, but uh, works fine. This so basically, you know, I can do this. <laughs> It'd be really funny if like I was doing this and all of a sudden Slendy just appeared like right there. So. Now, these drawings. Um, did Slenderman draw those? Because if I guess he makes people go insane and they start writing on the walls and I just kinda feel like that is the most inconvenient place to do your manic wall scribblings I I could have done it better if I were going insane I totally would have done it like on this wall or something just <laughs> as an expert on what it means to go insane due to some weird entity haunting you uh, that's what I would have done alright the phone line is dead uh, and I don't have a cell phone apparently. Oh yes, and you reveal much, uh, you, you kind of reveal the storyline through picking up these items that are, all, they're all optional. You don't have to find them, that's just kind of one thing to look for. And, uh, let's see. 
Oh yeah, I am a virtuoso. Uh, yeah, so you, you expose the story by just looking at some of the context and some of the in-game items. Uh, hey, a flashlight. Sweet. And, uh, and that's really cool. It kind of reminds me of a game I played as a kid. It was called Shivers. It was a Sierra game that came out in the mid-90s. And, uh, um, and it's just, that's why I kind of bought this game, because I felt like it had a similar feel, though this is a much more shallow experience, because this game is, you know, it's only a $10 game, so it's not, from what I understand, it's not very long. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see, what else do I know about this game? Um, it's, uh, it's creepy. Um, so. Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Da 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 da. da the Slender Man! <laughs> Climbing at your bedroom window, snatching your people up. Best hide them kids and wife. So, alright. Yeah. Um, so basically, this is the Slender Man hosts an open house kind of thing, I guess. Like I said, I don't know the storyline or what's going on here, which is not a bad thing. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm a little confused. And I don't play a lot of horror games as it is, because I feel like most horror games... I, I, I don't like games where basically you get to the end of the game and find out your character was doomed anyway. I was like, I fought to survive, one to survive. Oh, wow, check it out. It's like massive bathroom reader library. I mean, who needs that much space for bathroom reading material? I mean, wow. So. Yeah. Ah, the unlocked door. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of crazy going on in here. So, to the woods. Oh, well, someone's just having a grand old time out there. But of course, rather than call the police, I'm going to go outside into those woods and rub my face into a big steaming pile of fear and despair. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, hey, look, there's a little item up there. I'm getting impatient. I'm gonna run. <laughs> I know, I'm not knocking the game for making you walk slow. Um, that's just me. If you really wanted to read that, you can just pause the video. I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch me read that. Uh, yeah, I'm just... I uh, want to move along. And so I know that walking the slow kind of helps uh, drag out that feeling of the shivers running down your spine. So here we go. All right, Slender Man, I'm coming for you. All right, now from what I understand, this is actually the rehash, remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, of the eight pages from the original Slender game. Um, it's set in Oakside Park. And the premise, or the goal, or I guess how this works, is you're totally safe, or at least for a, a while, until you pick up the first page. And the more pages you collect, uh, the more fervor Slender, uh, Slendy will, will have in pursuing you. And so usually what you want to do is try to figure out a good route. So I'm not going to pick that paper up yet. Um, because I like to get the ones that are like inside that, that are inside the bunker. Because when you're being chased by Slenderman, I hate getting cornered. So I'm gonna try to find those first. Uh, let's see. Usually, usually, there's I think I want to say nine or ten possible locations for the papers, and they can they they can be different every time, and the map can be randomly generated every time. So. You know, that's that's awesome because the original game was always just the same map, so once you kind of, you know, learn the layout, you can just do the same route over and over until you finally succeed. 
But this one makes you work for it a little bit, and I, I appreciate that. Ah, I shouldn't be using my sprint right now when everything's safe, but I hate walking so slow! Shut up, Cricket. I know you're mocking me. Alright. I never did actually see a paper in here, did I? No, there appears not to be. Who took the paper that was here? Was it the cricket? Yeah, and I've learned every time you hear those footsteps, you can look around all you want. I think that those are, that's literally just there to make you go, Oh my gosh! But, uh, yeah, footsteps don't mean a thing. Just plays into the atmosphere. Alright, well, I want to try to find the bunker. And I don't think there's going to be a paper at the construction site, so... We'll leave that be. Alright, we'll go up this way. Find myself some papers. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the significance is with the papers. They're all, like, scribbled markings of kind of depicting certain attributes of the Slender Man. And I don't know, I guess it's like a eight-page report on the Slender Man, and you've got to find your homework. You took your homework and pinned it up in the forest, and you got to find it before he slenderizes you, or whatever he does. Sorry, like I said, I'm pretty ignorant on the whole Slender Man thing. Other than that it makes people look really funny on the internet. Where, oh where, is the bunker? I want to start from the bunker. Well, okay, can't find the bunker. So it looks like we'll start from this tower over here. Because I want to make progress. Like I said, I get kind of impatient with this game. With the pacing sometimes. But that's just me. Not a knock at the game. That's just... That's just a Wigsbyism. I want to progress. I want to do things. So I don't know what the significance is with the T-Rex sound, but uh, I know that that means that Slenderman is now somewhere in the woods. Yeah, my slender sense is tingling. Where is he? Where is he? Where are you? Well, he's close, but I'm not... There he is! Uh, hey! Yeah! Slenderman! Climbing at your windows, snatching your people up. Alright. Looking for paper, 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 paper. This is, yeah, here's the bunker I was talking about. And I hate it because you can get cornered in here. So that's why I usually try to get this one done first. Is there not a paper in here? Oh, paper. Come on, where's the papers? I must be missing something. I get so turned around in here, too. That probably doesn't help. Alright, I don't see any papers. But I'm afraid so. Yep, there he is. What's up, dude? Alright. You can just please go away. I need to go over there. Come on. I say go away. Yeah. Take your tie and get. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Alright, well, we'll give this another try. 
I have to admit, I don't have very many attempts in me. I, uh... I sort of have a uh, negative reaction to games with random mechanics. And especially when those random mechanics are sort of centered around my failure. Now I know I was definitely staring Slendy down in the face, and that's probably why he did whatever he did to me. Slender staticerized me. But uh, I just want to progress. Alright, come on, paper. We need to start at the bunker this time. But yeah, as you can see, that's why I like to get the bunker done first, is because you can get cornered, and Slendy was right where I I'm pretty sure that paper was, because there wasn't one at the construction site, so there must have been one in the bunker. Because I think there's only one location that will have no paper on it. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so we've got one paper... And now I'm just going to take a path and follow it around and see if we can get the others. Right. Crashed canoe in the middle of the forest. I mean, oh, okay, there is water here. I was about to say, sometimes it's like in the middle of the woods, and I have to wonder, how do you crash a canoe in the middle of the woods? I mean, seriously. Alright, where's he at? Up, oh, Slendy senses tingling. He's here. Alright. Okay. Abandoned car. Where is the paper? It doesn't look like it's on this side. I'm guessing it's over here. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Slenderman, which is right somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Slendy. Ow. I need to go that way, Slendy. You can't be there. Got that paper. And let's move on. Oh. Yeah, that's one thing they changed. I think now he can actually appear in front of you. Well, okay, fine. I'll go another way. Yeah. I guess you're not supposed to look at him because, like, that's the whole thing. He, like, enters your mind. I don't know what the Slinger Man does. Other than just make me feel uneasy and make it really hard to see the game I'm playing. Alright. Gotta find the rest of my homework. Okay. Yeah, you're right there. Okay, I'm back to the bunker, which I know I don't need to go in because I found the paper that was there. Alright. Oh, he's in front of me. Static. Stuttering. Shut up. Oh. It's occupied. You can have the toilet, dude. I just... Can I get the paper? Are you gonna let me get the paper? No, you're not. Okay, fine. Are you still there? There we go. Okay, yeah, he's still kind of sort of there. Oh, there's no paper here. Okay, well, we're gonna run this way. Yeah, hey, here we go. Yeah, I'm probably not the best slender player in the world. But I wanted to try it. Alright. Well, I guess we're going this way. Ah.
behind me. He's not gonna do anything to me. Yeah. Ah! Boogeyman! I see a sign. Ooh. I need that sign. Because you've got one of my papers. I know you do. Yeah! Okay. One more! Oh, I'm so close. Time to sprint. Keep Slenderman away. I'm so close. I can do it. I know I can. Ah, oh, dang it. We're back at the construction. Well... Let's see. What? I'm guessing it's... I don't know where my last paper is. I'm trying to think of all the locations I've seen. Ah! Okay. Game bugged out for a second there. Walking the lonely road in the dark, being stalked by the Slender Man. It's all good. I just gotta find one more page. Just one more. Oh man, I've looped around. Oh, and he's in front of me. Don't be in front of me. Ooh, have I already been to the tent? I feel like I have. Oh, this is it. I got papers. Yeah. Slenderman, in your face. Eight papers. Oh, wait, 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 what, what? Oh, 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 okay, this is part of the story. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. What? What? What is happening? I don't understand. You're <laughs> come in, game. Game narrative. You're breaking up. Game narrative. Come in, please. Uh. Okay. Well. Okay. Oh well, I guess that stage. Um. All right. Well, uh, I think I will uh, call it here for now, folks. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you next time. Bits and pieces, y'all. That's pieces spelled with P-E-A-C-E-S. Pieces. Bits and pieces. Goodbye.